Hey my friend, hope things are going great for you. So in this video, I want to show you how you can analyze competitors YouTube channels. Okay, because this can be quite helpful in your own YouTube journey by analyzing your competitors, you can see what is working in your specific niche for your channel specifically. So for an example, if you see a certain video topic is performing well on like three or four different competitor channels, then that might be a great opportunity for you to upload a similar video and get some pretty good views on your video. So there's many different ways that you can go about um, analyzing your competitors. And I'm going to be showing you a few of those methods in this video. So for an example, let's just pretend that this is a competitor of mine. This is just some random channel that I pulled up for the demonstration purposes of this video. So what normally you can do is you can go, for an example, to their homepage. And normally what people are doing is they are using Chrome extensions or extensions for their browser to be able to analyze the competitors a little bit in more detail because you obviously don't have access to the YouTube studio to see what is going on. So one of those tools that you can use is TubeBuddy. And uh, you can see here it says Channelytics. And this is pulled from the TubeBuddy extension. You can see I have it right over there. So I just installed that on the Chrome Web Store. So this extension will tell me how many total views lifetime does the channel have, how many videos they've uploaded, how many views they're getting in the last 30 days, and how many videos they've published in the last 30 days. This can be very useful information to see if the channel is in fact growing or is it staying stagnant and stuff like that. And then you can see it compares it between your channel and the other channel. So my channel got 1.07 million views in the last 30 days and the this specific channel got 3.65 million views. So then I could see that I need to maybe upload a little bit more content if this was my competitor. If I want to compete, maybe I have to upload more videos uh, to reach this 3.65 million views um, mark. So then another thing that you can do is you can go to the videos tab and you can just analyze what videos are they uploading. So it says how I went back to the first gym I ever worked at 49k views three days ago. Okay, so if you look at that video compared to some of his other videos, um, that one, um, you have to also look at how many days ago it was uploaded. So if you see here three weeks ago, like 370k views, that's definitely a lot of views for the amount of subscribers. 277,000 subscribers and this one got way more views than that. You can see this video actually got 169,000 views. So not as many views as this one. So you could say that this one is actually a really decent topic to make a video about because people are interested in this prime energy drink and they will watch that sort of content because there's obviously some drama going on with the Logan Paul and everything like that. So maybe this will be a good um, sort of topic to upload. So this is the type of stuff you can do. And as you can see here, it says 12 VPH, which stands for views per hour. And then um, this is a, another extension called the vidIQ extension. And you can also install that from the Chrome Web Store. If you type into, vid, if you type into Google vidIQ Chrome Web Store, you can see the Google result vidIQ vision for YouTube. You can install that onto your browser and then you can see all those available stats. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then you can also go to the about page um, and this will tell you some more stats here. But basically the TubeBuddy gave us that information as well. And with the vidIQ extension as well, you can also use, uh, it says view channel stats. You can click on that. This is the vidIQ extension that's pulling this data. So it gives you the total amount of views in the last 30 days, how many subscribers and the videos. So these extensions can work pretty well, but this can be quite time consuming. If you're analyzing like five or 10 different channels, going to every single channel page can take some time in order to sift through all that information um, to determine what you need to upload next. So what you can do to streamline the whole process and make your life so much easier is by using the vidIQ competitors feature. Now you can get started with vidIQ for free. If you want to, you can click the first link in the description of this video. Um, but the free plan is great, but it is quite limited. 
If you want to make the most out of the vidIQ software, you'll want to be upgraded to one of the two plans that they do have available. And those plans are $10 per month for the pro plan and $49 per month for the boost plan. The boost plan will give you so many features and then you'll be able to make use of it fully. But if you have a free account, you can absolutely make use of this competitors tab. Okay, but you cannot add as many competitors as are added here. So I'm currently using the pro plan for $10 per month. So you can see I just added some random channels in here. These aren't actual competitors of mine. And the reason I did that is so I can show you what sort of data that it does give us. So this graph right here is very useful. So instead of I've got one, two, three, four, five channels, including mine. So you can see at a glance how many views in the last 30 days do these channels get. So Umpaville got 20 million views. James Smith got 3 million views. Coffeezilla 12 million. You can see this channel, Jamari, is actually losing views in the last 30 days. Okay, and my channel, 1 million views. Okay, so that is very useful. And if you have the boost plan, um, so I think with the pro plan, you can add 5 or 6 competitors. And with Boost, you can add even more competitors. So if you're analyzing a lot of different competitors, that could be quite useful for you. And you can filter this data by how many views they've got, how many subscribers in the last 30 days. You can also change the time frame. So from the last, if I go back to views, if I go to the last 60 days and the last 12 months, you can see this one got 218 million views, definitely a lot of views. So normally you'll look on the last 30 days by default. So like I said, you can sort it by subscribers. How many public videos do they have? How many average daily views do they get? Okay, so the, you can see all this relevant and useful information. How many average subscribers do they get per day? So this is um, very useful and it saves you a lot of time. So and then the how many average public videos. But that's not all you can do with the competitors feature of vidIQ. You can see it'll give you some more channel stats at a glance and having this overview um, 30,000 foot overview of all the channels is definitely very useful because you can uh, break down the information in a much more streamlined and easier way. So you can see all this information right there and then the, this is quite useful. It'll show you the top videos from your competitors. Okay, so if you're running low on ideas and you want to see what sort of video you could upload next, you can see this video from CoffeeZilla exposing a podcast scam. You can see it's got 5.5 million views and it's getting 8,000 views an hour. So people are definitely interested in that sort of content. And this one also a lot of views, but not as many views per hour right now because that was uploaded 25 days ago and this one was eight days ago. So this information is definitely very useful on your YouTube journey, whether you're just starting out or even if you're an experienced YouTuber. And that's the competitors tab of vidIQ. Now vidIQ can do so many more features. You can go to your dashboard and get an overview of what's working on your channel. And it will give you some daily ideas on what you could potentially upload next. So you can see all this information right here. Basically, I showed you a lot of this stuff already. Then they'll give you some daily ideas on what you could potentially upload next. So it'll give you, I think I get 10 daily ideas. So every single day this will update with new ideas on what you could potentially make videos on. And this is um, customized uh, for your own channel. So you'll connect your channel to VidIQ and it'll be connected and it'll pull the data based off of your own channel. So that's very definitely very useful. You can save the ideas, you can dismiss ideas. Then they have an AI generator which will generate you video ideas give you thumbnail backgrounds that you can use i've demonstrated this in a previous video i'll try to link it at the end of this video then you can use the very powerful feature of finding keywords for your channel so you can type in a keyword here and for an example if i type how to affiliate marketing and then i hit enter this will give you so many ideas on what you could potentially upload next so it gives you a over, overall score right here, gives you some related keywords, it gives you the matching terms, which I'm waiting for it to load. And that's the feature that I use the most when it comes to VidIQ is the matching terms feature. So if you click here where it says view all 300 matching terms, this will show you so many, you can see how many, just how many 
video topics that you could potentially make videos on and it gives you all the information you need regarding this it'll give you the search volume the competition the overall score and the number of words then i showed you the competitors tab um, so i'm just showing you now the extra features subscribers i believe that's a boost feature and seo is also a boost feature so you can make use of these features if you need them um, you can sign up for the boost plan if you need that then they have the max and then they have the ai coach which i demonstrated in a previous video i'll link it up at the end of this video this is also very useful and as you can see here it kind of works like chat gpt and you can ask the ai coach anything related to your channel or youtube in general and it'll give you tips on how you can grow your channel and all that good stuff and if you see i ran out of credits right here and it renews in nine days but if you run out of credits you can just go to the basic um, version of the ai coach and you can use it um, so if i write something like so i typed in here can you give me the average click-through rate on youtube i'll click on send and as you can see without those uh, pro credits i'm able to use it so it says uh, austin can you give me the average click-through rate on youtube certainly the average click-through rate on youtube can vary okay it gives me the answer and then you can go based off these suggestions what to ask it next and then you can ask something else if you are wanting to do that so definitely make use of the competitors it's definitely a very useful feature of vidaiq now if you would like to test drive vidaiq for free you can create a free account simply click the first link in the description of this video it will take you to the vidaiq page you can connect your account with google and then you can get going now if this video helped you out drop a like onto it and i'll see you in the next video